Hi, this is Damien, and today I'm going to do another video following on from yesterday. I wanted to show how, to, how you could blend colours using GIMP. I've done a video yesterday using Snipping Tool where I took a background profile pic and um, I was going to use GIMP and blend the colours in to get rid of a get a bit rid of, rid of a bit I didn't need. And then I thought, well, hang on, can you do it on Snipping Tool? Whilst watching my video, yeah, my video from yesterday, I noticed there was um, more tools on it than I thought. I just noticed it watching YouTube. So what I'm going to do is find the um, the old pig and have another go on it. Okay, here it is, and I'm going to have another go with Snipping Tool. I'm going to do the same thing I've done yesterday but as I save it I want to look at the other tools on it so here it is on the right side new new mode rectangular snip that's what I want um, and there we go same thing now as you see here there's, there's actually more tools than I thought now I wondered if you could blend it on it because I want to get rid of this image here this profile pic so new mode delay. there's tools here what's of these these are red pen black pen so you can write on it rubber let's look at tools pen options um, tools just comes up pen highlighter rubber sort of basic ones but to, over here is edit with paint 3d so let's click on that. Okay, so it's opened up a new interface, Paint 3D. I've never actually looked at this before. I've used Paint before, but not Paint 3D. I wonder if it's quite new. But anyway, here it is. Very small here, so if I increase, zoom in, I guess that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, zoom in. So I'm going to bring that up and scroll to the left. That's what I want here. I'm going to blend. So here we have different sets of markers, oil brush, watercolour, etc. Fitness, colours, and oh, here we, here we are. This looks like the eyedrop icon you'd find on Paint um, Photoshop, and it is. So, click on that. <coughs> and, oh, I've got a big circle there, so I want something like that. Now, what if I do this, I'm sort of blending I'm blending using one of the markers, I guess. So I'm having a very crude, a very crude go here. Blend. I'm going to get eye picker again onto there and down again. Um, I pause for a bit. Okay, let's have a look at some of the other markers. Here we have a spray can. I'm going to choose that. Um, eyedropper again. Click and start kind of spraying here. Nicer, nicer way to do it. Because you'll be getting a sort of a, like more of a gradient in there. So it's slow mine. I'm going to pause it. Okay, it's sort of all done. It's very crude, but it doesn't matter with me because my profile pic would hide that anyway. So, that's done. Okay, I want to save now, so maybe save as image. Okay, saving. I'm saving over the last one. Should be no problem, it's taking a while there. Okay, so I was able to save it from the Paint 3D, so that's a handy alternative if you're in a hurry and you don't want to load GIMP or Photoshop, you can just use Snipping Tool with Paint 3D. That was quite handy. Okay, so on my sort of um, profile page, I want to see how it would look. Let's have a go. Change your header, photo. Okay, so I'm just gonna pick the picture. Um, there we are, capture. Okay, so I was able to take the photo of Snipping Tool and manipulate it with Paint 3D and upload. Not overwhelmed with it, but there it is, that's how you can do it. 